Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's just a little fun experiment, basically. Super scientific. Well, maybe not super scientific on all fronts, but a pretty interesting test nonetheless. So I'm going to compare the sound of a passive Seymour Duncan pickup to an active Fishman pickup to an active EMG pickup. You always hear a lot of different opinions on various types of pickups. For example, passive pickups sound more dynamic and more clear. Active pickups are more compressed. The Fishman pickups are a little bit thin sounding or some people like them better than the EMGs and vice versa. So in this video, we're going to compare the sound of those pickups through a high gain amplifier. And in this video, we're going to use my Mesa Boogie dual rectifier as that's a very popular high gain amp. And of course, this will be a high gain or modern rock comparison. So no clean tones in this video. I'm probably also going to do episodes with different types of amplifiers, like a Marshall, for example, or maybe a PV6505. It could be interesting to see how much of a difference that will make as well. So the goal here is to find out how much of a difference changing the pickup types matters. Now, I am going to say up front that I did use three different guitars for this video. So I didn't take one guitar and exchange the pickups in that single guitar. And that very likely would have been more scientifically accurate. But still, pickups make a huge difference in tone. So I definitely think that we will be able to hear a difference between the pickups, despite them being different guitars. I did pick three guitars that are similar in a bunch of ways. I used three ESP LTD guitars. The first one is my Phoenix 1000. And that one has a Seymour Duncan custom pickup in the bridge. The second one is my Phoenix Black Metal, so a very similar guitar in design and features. But that one has an active Fishman Modern in the bridge position. And the third one is a little bit more different. It's an EC1000T, so a full thickness Eclipse with an EMG57 in the bridge. And that's also an active pickup, of course. All the guitars have a mahogany body and an ebony board and stuff like that. And I've got the same string gauges and tunings and string brand on all guitars. So that's a set of 11s on all the guitars from Elixir. And all the guitars are tuned to drop C. And aside from the body shape and body design, the EC1000T also has a slightly shorter scale length. So do keep those differences in mind. On the rectifier, I'm going through the red channel on modern mode, of course, and I'm keeping the settings exactly the same throughout this video. And to be honest, I'm pretty curious how much of a difference we'll hear with such a high gain tone, such a fat and saturated tone. It's a very thick and pronounced sounding amp after all, so I'm pretty excited to hear how much of a difference the pickups will make. Maybe the difference will be very subtle, or maybe not. We'll see. Now let's take a listen to the LTD Phoenix 1000 with the passive Seymour Duncan Custom in the bridge. Here we go. Sounded pretty good, right? So this passive Seymour Duncan custom pickup sounds very fat and dynamic indeed. You can especially hear how fat it sounds on the low palm muted notes. With passive pickups, those tend to be a little bit more pronounced and heavy, so to speak. Kind of a sound that you would expect from a passive pickup. Now let's check out those exact same riffs, but this time played on my Phoenix black metal with the Fishman Modern in the bridge. Here we go. Awesome! 
I definitely could hear a difference there as I was expecting to be honest. The Fishman has a bit of a tighter and more focused low end with a bit more cut in the mid-range basically. A pretty clear and focused sounding pickup. It's a sound that works well with an amplifier like a rectifier. But I guess you could say that it sounded a little bit thinner than the passive Seymour Duncan. Now let's check out the active EMG57 in my EC1000T. Great, that sounded awesome, but again, I did hear some differences. Overall, the EMG sounds a little bit more compressed and maybe sort of muddy. It's still a great sound, but it doesn't seem to have that same clarity as the others have. Again, the scale length and the design of the guitar probably play a part here. And in the same guitar, the pickups will probably sound a little bit more similar, but still, I think that the EMG sounds a little bit more compressed and sort of tubby. Now let's check out an isolated AB back-to-back -back comparison in a full mix. Here we go. Great! And yeah, that did confirm what I heard earlier. Did you also hear those differences? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Also, what amp should I try this with next? Do let me know. I think the differences will be a little bit more audible with a clearer sounding amp, like a Marshall for example, or maybe some sort of 5150. I personally like the sound of all three pickups, depending on the song, the amplifier and the amp settings of course. It's hard to say which one is the very best though, but for this example through the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, I think that the Fishman Modern wins. The saturation of this amplifier just sounds so thick and gooey, and the Fishman Modern does a great job at cutting through that distortion. It basically has the most definition here. That's my opinion anyway, but I'd love to know your thoughts. And of course, this might change for the next video if I use another type of amplifier. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below to let me know your thoughts and also drop a like and a subscribe as that would really help out the channel. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter 
for more exclusive content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.